another thing that they announced, and I shared it on Twitter as well, and Overwatch 2 is just released, free to play, and the first Overwatch is game over, and now it's all free to play, and we mentioned that there was a technology called SMS Protect, which Activision Blizzard was utilizing to authenticate uh, users that play this free to play game, and the main thing is you gotta put a phone number, put it in to validate as a two form factor uh, verification process. What they failed to mention is it's only for postpaid, not prepaid cell phone services. And what that means is postpaid is those that get a recurring monthly bill. Prepaid is you pay, and every 30 days it renews. After 30 days, it's get, it things like um, until you track pay. phone, cricket, things yeah. like that. All prepaid. Boost Mobile, Boost Mobile, um, all prepaid. So they are, and doesn't matter what kind of towers. Uh, it is based on prepaid and postpaid, and they found out that prepaid. Uh, services that offer the phones and that phone number does not work for SMS Protect. It doesn't work. They're trying to figure out the reasons why. Da, da, da. And then it's, and then they gave a statement. I'm going to paraphrase it because I'm not really... I, it's it's a bit complicated, but at the same time, it's probably going to be here to, here to stay, unfortunately. The main thing is to reduce the outcome of cheaters. Mm -hmm. Everybody can make new accounts at random they could cheat on one make another account cheat on that and, and keep it going so the SMS protect was utilized to get uh, to authenticate an actual user by based on a actual phone number being used on a postpaid plan that's why on the prepaid they said that doesn't work because prepaids can be technically used as burner phones mm -hmm. you'll have it for 30 days knock it out go get another exactly. prepaid phone it's another so it's essentially the same old deal so they said okay we're gonna do this but only if you authenticate with Battle.net. Yeah, because basically, Overwatch too. Yeah, basically, what's going to happen is if you sign up for Battle.net since June 9th of 2021, and if you connect it to that, then you don't need a number. Any new players, though, they still need to have the number. And all so that. regardless, you're going to need a phone number, and you know how people are going to get. They're going to get some form of rent. They're going to have a generator for phone numbers. For those that are not even logged in, they're going to probably do that to go and cheat. And they're going to come to realize that these phone numbers that are tied to this person can't be used. And they're going to say, it's because you've been banned or whatever. And they're like, how? This is my number. Kind of realize somebody else used that number. Watch. It's, they're going to find a way because that's that's I'm what sure they do. But so far, SMS Protect is utilized for that for Overwatch 2. Then oh, they cut funny. back. See, what Outlanders was explaining to you was the kind of the backtrack on how it's going to be used for Overwatch 2. Because, again, it's a free-to-play game. And then we just learned yesterday, no, halfway today. today, or was it okay? It was so we learned today, today that Activision, you know, same Modern company Warfare. that has Blizzard with Overwatch Two, Modern Warfare Two, will be utilizing this SMS protection. You know, the one, anyway. the one that's coming out at the end of this month. Yep, they're going to be using this, and they said it doesn't matter if you are connected to BattleNet yep. or not. That's and like, here's why it really doesn't matter: it's because now we mentioned Overwatch Two is not a game you purchase; it's now free to play. So there's going to be a ton of people on that. And those that are new, they have to authenticate themselves. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Modern Warfare 2, they're going to say, well, you're going to have to, regardless of the situation. And even if you're caught cheating, that's a $70 plus, That's a seventy game. It is. If you cheat, they can block that, and then you have to get another game for you and use it because it's tied to the Call of Duty service. <laughs> it's how it is. So you need to get a phone number, tie it into the Call of Duty service, and if you are banned, that Call of Duty service and that phone number can no longer be used. That means you got to go get another email, another phone number, and another $70 game. That's inconvenient, but again, they're trying to deter toxic, cheating, terrible people. Now, here's the funny part. We'll they don't see. know if this is going to be the same for Warzone on November 16th. We don't know, exactly. Because that's a free-to-play, so we'll see people are going to wait to get Modern Warfare 2, and then go to Warzone and play, and thinking they're not going to sign up for the phone number? Unless they decide to change it, because it seems like... Because then if that's the case for that war zone, then everybody else in the regular war zone is going to have to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. So all the current players are going to have to put up another phone number and authenticate themselves moving forward. Now, that's that's not the only thing that was happening with Overwatch. Overwatch was having a ton <laughs> of issues during the whole like week. Like every damn new game that comes up. But this is not Cyberpunk 2077, so yes, we get it. It's a big hype game, and it is free to play, so maybe they do have an excuse... But still, nonetheless, it's still a So the issues that they were having, one of them was when people were like texting and chatting with uh, during the mention and stuff, because of some 
little issues that they were having, the game was look was making it like they were making purchases of skins and people were accidentally buying skins just chatting with their friends. So it's like literally upsell is that? So hey, literally chat, it's like they're chatting skins with their first. things and all of a sudden they went to the skin somehow because I guess some like inputs and stuff was oh, put in there. So, so they were buying like logged wrong. They they were like buying like nineteen hundred like point skins without them even noticing because they were just chatting with their friends. Hey, and how stuff. are you doing? Get a confirmation email or SMS protect message. Hey, thank eight. you for purchasing eight skin characters. Exactly. And you know what's the messed up thing? But it, Blizzard is not going to be issuing any refunds. Oh, no. They're, nah, no. Shut up. They said Shut that. your mouth. They that's going to Bobby, bro. That's going to... Nah. <laughs> that's not going to last. That happened today? Or did they... Nah. It, nah. Happened, it happened like on Friday. Give it, it a week. on Friday. Nah, give it a week. They returned... Nah, they can't do it. They can't do it. And the... They can't um, do that. That's robbery, dude. You kidding me? They messed up. Exactly. And you're telling me that I accidentally purchased product by typing to my friend and I can get a refund? Bro, I'm getting a refund. I'm getting a refund. Exactly. That's we'll what see. I Watch. Can't believe they I'm going to follow that. that. I'm going to follow that because that's it, robbery, dude. And there was another issue where they were trying to fix up two characters that were having issues. Um, because of that, they got rid of two characters, but there was a bug that happened that pretty much now, instead of just getting rid of two characters, they got rid of like 20 characters. So pretty much people who have locked all the characters, because if you buy the game or transfer your data over from the first game and have all your characters unlocked, now you won't have access to two-thirds of them because of that bug. So people were having issues with that. Oh, my God. I think they finally started fixing that issue, thank God. But that's the, bad. Yeah, that's Especially, super inconvenient. Let's say you did spend money to get all the characters and stuff. Then also you don't have access to like two-thirds of it. That's an issue. So they had to deal with that issue. And of course, with the new games, there were long lines, long queue times, long waiting times, like literally hours, like hours in order to get into the and game. Which that, is with the I'm new game. Say, it's free to play. Yeah. Overwatch 2, very popular. That I get. Because that was like that. That was like that with Halo 2, Halo 3 when online first came out. Mm -hmm. There was so much. You get matched, and then it drops. Match, drop, and, and the server's gone. Then you can't make And of course, with make. new games, it's been like huge bugs. Lots of bugs with the games, too. Like with issues with the you know, guns, <laughs> people, and all that. That keystroke accidental purchase? Yeah. Bro, if they don't refund, that's a lawsuit, dude. Do you think Activision Blizzard wants another lawsuit? No. That's annoying. Yeah, I, get, I can't believe when I read that, I was like, are you kidding me? I get queue lines. I get waiting too long. I get it. It's just like... Um, playing Call of Duty on Christmas Day, mm -hmm. you go. It's a, it's harder, but then you got all these noobs, so all the experienced people playing mm -hmm. will just own and wreck everybody. Yeah, exactly. But waiting that long because there's such an influx of people, that's that's the issue. Mm -hmm. Oh man, and Overwatch. Do I also want to ask one thing since we're on Activision too. So apparently, they also released a new like little like. Preview for like show like little gameplays of new Modern Warfare, okay. and it was like a new song, like a remix of Left Right Left. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, they had yeah, like yeah. Nicki Minaj. Yeah, yeah, they, a little baby and all that. Yeah, a uh, squad up. Yeah, squad up. That was squad it. Up. Yeah, I was like, I, I watched it. I was like, it's cool. I like Nicki Minaj. Yeah, because you know, I love her. Yeah, so. it's. Uh, I, it was cool that they had did an advertisement like that. I knew, I knew, uh, I recognized <clears throat> two or three people, but not not the new people. Yeah, there was a lot of like um, rappers in there. I did recognize. Yeah. I knew, of course, Nicki, of course, because yeah. I love her stuff. And I know Lil Baby because I'm not really, I don't really yeah. listen to music like that, but yeah. I know of him. Yeah, but I'm glad they did it because, you know, <clears throat> Modern Warfare 2, okay, it's going to be a great game. Obviously, the campaign's great. It is a, it is pretty much a reimagined. Is this too bad? Remaster, it's coming from a toxic ass company. But it's uh, Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> And it's, uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to finish here. Um, <laughs> Modern Warfare 2, the game itself, is going to be a nice legendary piece because it references from the old Modern Warfare 2, but it is gearing up to be another wave of the new Warzone. So that is what everybody's saying, squad up, squad up. It's mm -hmm. because now that 4 deep, let's go and do your thing. and you know. So that that's mainly what that's going for because yeah. it's going to be great. You saw that video too, right? It was like, it was yeah, like yeah. Minute, it was like, funny because I was watching it. Like, I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm like, uh -huh. I just like it's a Nikki's part. Yeah, it's like yeah. I love that part, even it's though good. it's like two seconds. But I'm like, oh, yeah, I love yeah. that part. 